Hi guys, so I thought I should make a quick video and give you an update because I posted some stuff on social media and people asked me about my health and things so I thought I should clarify. I suppose if you're a regular viewer this is more irrelevant and interesting because you know about my life but if you're a newcomer maybe this isn't interesting you can watch one of the other videos. Anyhow, um, about six months ago or so um, the doctors found some lumps in my neck uh, that were just lymph nodes and they took a needle biopsy and everything was clear so that was fine then um, I got quite sick as I mentioned um, in my weight loss video when I went to Spain and when I came back and we had all the tests and everything and everything was clear but then they said maybe we should take a lymph node out and do a proper biopsy of the cells and everything in it. So recently I went to the hospital and uh, here's some footage from it um, while I was there and what they were doing. It was a day case so I went in and it was done and I came home that evening but uh, here it goes. Dressed up in this beautiful attire waiting to go into surgery because they're going to remove this lump. It's a lymph node and they want to test if I have anything serious. So yeah, I, they took one out about 10 years ago, it was fine. So now they're going to do another one uh, just to make sure they keep on top of it. So yeah. Waiting to be taken into the theatre. I thought I should make a little video while I'm here. It's funny how I was perfectly fine, but the last two days I've now started to feel a little bit of pain in my neck. And it's just like psychosomatic because my brain knows that something's going to happen. So they've marked it. So there's an arrow telling them that this is where it is in case they end up removing my nose or something. So when I come back, I will let you know how it went. I'll see you in a bit. Back from surgery. and feeling very tired and exhausted, but okay. It was very hot and very cold and very hot. And I was sweating and, but now that I've been told that I can't go home unless I have an escort, as in someone to accompany me home. I didn't plan for that because I thought it was just in and out and uh, I would just take a taxi home. But they're telling me that after an operation and after sedation or anesthesia, they don't allow people to go home. So either I stay overnight or I find someone to go home with. So that's what I've arranged now. I've asked my next door neighbor to come and pick me up. lights in the hospital are always so harsh they make you look yellow and pale and ill rather than make you look healthy but right now I don't care how I look so it's been about uh, I don't know a week nine days since uh, the surgery I have a massive scar on my neck so World War I injury, as you know. Um, but I don't really care about the scars. Um, just that they'll do the biopsy and find out what it is. Uh, another thing that I wanted to clarify and talk about, which is uh, a burning topic amongst me and my friends and people who know me well, including my doctors, 
who some of them understand, some of them disagree. But basically, the kind of person I am, I prefer to know how much time I have rather than living indefinitely. I've had a very good life and I'm not the kind of person who will become really old and be waiting to die. So there's so many people I've come across in my life and I'm, there's nothing against them. Everyone has their own views on life who retire and then they grow old and their health is frail and they're in a bad state but they just continue to live and they want to live and when they're sick and they get better they were like oh I have x number of more years to live and I don't really understand that. For me I've had a very good life and if I know that I'm going to die I'm not scared because everyone has an end and there must be something beyond this life, this existence that we have now. And so I'll move on to something else. And if there isn't, then that's all right as well. Because personally, I don't think that there is a need to have so many people on this planet and everyone being here. There's 7 billion people and one gone, no one misses and doesn't make much difference. And even if people miss, they get over it. So without sounding pessimistic and crazy, and I just think that um, I want to live a life which is fulfilling and happy and healthy. And if I'm not healthy and like, for example, I told my doctors that I don't want to have chemo or radiotherapy if um, if they think it's something sinister and they were like oh you need to see a therapist and you're probably depressed and it's uh, something that you need to discuss I'm like I'm not depressed I'm fine I'd rather know whether I have six months or two years or five years left and I can have a really great time and that's it rather than having treatments and then going back every f year and every five years and just prolonging your life unnecessarily uh, yeah, again, it's just different points of views. This is mine and I think everyone has one life and it's theirs to choose what they do with it. So yeah, I thought I should put it out there and uh, see what people respond because I'm sure everyone has views, especially people who are religious. I think they think that you should, life is a gift from God and it shouldn't be ungrateful but there's seven billion gifts on this planet. So <laughs> think about that, the carbon footprint that each one of us creates and produces. So yeah, I'm not depressed, I'm not sad, I'm fine. Um, I don't even think it's anything serious because uh, the surgeon who removed it, uh, we had a chat afterwards and he said that usually the lymph nodes that are cancerous have a different consistency. This looked like a very normal healthy lymph node. So yeah, that's a brief update on my health. So thanks for watching and uh, I will see you in my next more interesting video.